what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here since i'm about halloween ends in this video once again we're going to be talking about the og scream queen jamie lee curtis or one of the ogs many out there so jamie lee curtis has wrapped filming on halloween ends she put out a heartfelt post earlier today where she's titled or where she captioned it a bittersweet end for me on the halloween movies i've made great friends and have collaborated with wonderful artists on these three movies and today my part in the film has been completed and with it the end for me of this trilogy that of course being the david gordon green timeline that consists of three new trilogy of films that are tied to the original john carpenter classic from 1978 and she shared this nice image here that you see on your screen laurie strode forever now i have to address the biggest concern that i see a lot of people have they think that this means that laurie strode dies that on top of the fact that she is in the past stated that the ending is not going to sit right with a few people or some people and might make some people upset you know combining that now with this she's already done filming and she hasn't the, the production itself isn't done so people think that this is even more proof or more reason to believe she's going to die i will say that the the way that they've managed to keep a lot of things uh tight-lipped and secretive this time around is very impressive they definitely learned from the halloween kills issue but this does not mean that laurie strode is going to die you need to remember that there's a lot of instances where movies can be shot out of order if i'm not mistaken i think that's more common actually where movies are shot out of order this would be to accommodate that the time you have available for certain actors maybe budget stuff uh and just other other things that are that are going on involving the production that would re, that would resort in the movie being shot out of order so that way you can still have the movie you are desiring to have in the final product when you put it put it all together and put everything in a nice correct order even though you shot it out of sequence for the most half so even though Lori is done jamie lee curtis is done with the movie in terms of filming it that doesn't mean Lori strode is dying Lori strode very well might actually be in the finale i have no doubt that she will be in the finale actually only because of the fact that if i'm not mistaken this is the longest time she spent working on one of these movies since this new trilogy started i think this was the longest time she spent on set out of out of the other two movies that she's done halloween 2018 and halloween kills i think she spent the most time with halloween ends um a lot of her scenes probably just have already been shot such as the fact of her final moments in the film which i'm certain will be in the finale or leading into the finale if she's not in the whole entire finale aspect uh that doesn't mean that she's dying though something could happen where she's sidelined for the rest of the movie like i've stated before you don't need to have laurie strode die for this to happen but i would very much so rather have allison nelson be the one who has the final say against the shape in the in a manner in which laurie strode kind of kind of is the one who gives the assist to that she does something to michael myers but michael does something to her which sidelines her but then in the end allison and michael are making up a big bulk of what ends up leading to the ultimate demise of michael myers whether that be us actually seeing him die or something else who knows uh but then Lori could have like one final hurrah where she assists her granddaughter in taking out the shape while she's still sidelined because of something that was done to her earlier in the movie and then that's just how the movie could play out that's that's how i envision it that doesn't require laurie strode dying her dying isn't necessary if she does die i'm fine with that too just as long at this point i'm only fine with her dying because you've already done it once before it just was terrible <laughs> if she dies this time around hopefully it's something that is making up for that lackluster exit she had from the franchise with halloween resurrection because in a lot of ways uh just to talk about jamie lee curtis really quick i'm glad that we got these new these new three movies uh with laurie strode coming back and with jamie lee curtis getting to have a recreation of what she can do with this character and now end it on better terms the halloween resurrection exit for a character like laurie strode after what jamie lee curtis has contributed to the character in previous entries that was completely lackluster it was very much uh very much so in the same vein as <laughs> what they did with sally and the latest texas chainsaw so i'm glad we have laurie strode back for these for these latest three movies and if she does die again that's that's fine it's just a manner in which how you do it that's really gonna make the difference in whether or not i can accept that or not like nancy's death in nightmare on elm street 3 it doesn't bother me because she's not she's not being 
it's not a death that is so disrespectful to the character like sally's death in the latest texas chainsaw that is atrocious it, it, it is it's just atrocious it's a complete slap in the face to the character itself even though she is paper thin in the original anyway but with a character like Lori strode who has proper character development and we've seen her come back multiple times we have different timeline variations of her but they always connect back to that original film where Laurie Strode again is a much more fleshed out character even when she's with her group of friends they're constantly making the stuff they're constantly pointing you the audience towards Laurie even though there's two other girls with her those two other girls are always talking about Laurie in a way or tr turning the conversation in a direction that makes it about Laurie so then you the audience are again being conditioned to grow attached to Laurie and then you spend a big bulk of the movie with Laurie as she's babysitting and then now we're here 40 years later where she's still suffering from the events of what happened 40 years ago in a movie in which you were given enough time spent with a young girl who was just trying to focus on her studies graduate uh be a normal girl and then her life is turned upside down by this maniac and it's been plaguing her for the past 40 years so there's some there's more sentimental value there with Lori, and they've been doing a great job at portraying that in this latest in, in this latest timeline that, they, that we now have uh halloween kills i know she took a she took a step down in in terms of just resting in the hospital but with halloween ends i think she'll be more involved and i think her exit this time around from the franchise will be something that fans will be in agreement with for the most part as opposed to us being in disagreement with her exit for the most part <laughs> with halloween resurrection i know those be there'll be people who like she said will have a problem with the ending of the film or that is going to cause some people to be upset but i think for the most part everyone will be fine with her exit this time around whereas before with the resurrection i know a lot of people were mostly against that exit so we'll see what happens but i'm glad she came back i'm glad she is done with filming she can focus on other things maybe like participating in scream six which is going to be one of the topics i have for my next video but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video